Hi, in this session, I am going to talk about GIF, which is the acronym for the Graphics Interchange Format. So it is widely used in the internet for the compression of uh, graphical images. So the GIF accepts an image whose pixel value is in the order of uh, 24 bits and it is converted into a compressed image whose pixel value is in the order of 8 bits. So as a result, the compression ratio achieved in GIF will be 3 is to 1. So in this session, first I am going to talk about the basic operational mode of uh, GIF and how the dictionary is updated by using LZW coding. And finally, how the GIF interlaced scanning is done for the transmission of this GIF image. In GIF uh, basic operation mode, the color dictionary holds 256 colors from the 2 power 24 possible colors. So each color holds a 24 bit pixel value, 8 bit corresponds to red, 8 bit corresponds to green and 8 bit corresponds to blue. And these colors are derived from the global color table or from the local color table. The global color table relates to the color present in the entire image whereas the local color table relates to the colors present in a portion of the image. When the pixel value or the color value that matches with the particular color then the corresponding index will be transmitted. So from the encoder uh, the color dictionary, the screen size and the aspect ratio are sent along with the set of indexes for the image. Now using this data the decoder will decompress the image. The GIF extends the dynamically the dictionary using LSRW coding. So in the diagram you can see from the location 0 to 255 the dictionary holds the basic 256 selected colors. So continuous 3 pixels as a color with the index x then in 256 we are storing index x, index x and index x. When 3 continuous pixels as the same color with the index x, x, x then the index uh, 256 will be transmitted. So in this way the image can be further compressed. Suppose when 3 continuous colors uh, or pixels as the same color then uh, we have to transmit uh, 24 bits in the basic operational mode. Here when the 3 continuous pixels has the same color then only a 9 bit index is transmitted. So in this way the dictionary can be extended up to 511. In order to represent the colors from 0 to 511, uh, we need a 9 bit index. Now, when new pattern of colors or when new colors has come, then that will be stored in the location 512, thereby extending the dictionary to the 10 bit index. In interlaced scanning, the scanning of lines does not take place continuously. So, for GIF interlaced scanning, the entire compressed image is divided into four groups. So the group 1 consists of 1 by 8 of the compressed data. The group 2 consists of 1 by 8 of the compressed data. The group 3 consists of 1 fourth of the compressed data. And group 4 consists of half of the compressed data. For group 1 data, first line number 1 is scanned. The group 1 uh, consists of 1 by 8 of the compressed data. Therefore, the next line scanned is 1 plus 8, 9. Then the next line scanned is 9 plus 8, 17 and it goes up to the end. Then for group 2 data, uh, the first line scanned is 5. Then the next line scanned is 5 plus 8, 13 and it goes. The group 3 data, the first line scanned is 3. And here the group 3 data consists of 1 fourth of the compressed data. Therefore, the next line scanned is 3 plus 4 is 7 then 7 plus 4 11 then 15 and it goes and group 4 data consists of half of the compressed data portion therefore the first line scanned is 2 then the next line scanned is 2 plus 4, 2 plus 2 uh, 4 then 4 plus 2 6 then 8 10 12 and it goes up to n so in the next animation i am going to show how these uh, uh, group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 data are generated in a GIF interlaced scanning. Let X indicate group 1 data, O indicate group 2 data, plus indicate group 3 data, 
and the add sign indicate group 4 data. First the line corresponding to group 1 data will be scanned. Group 2 lines are scanned. Group 3 lines are scanned. Finally, group 4 lines are scanned. The data is transmitted in the same order as it is generated. Then at the receiver side, the image is regenerated in the same order as it is received. Hence, the client will be able to get some idea about the received image as quickly as possible. And moreover, this lossless uh, GIF compression technique is more suitable for images that contain animations. Thank you.